Hi, it's Teresa with Crafty with Teresa. Thank you so much for joining me today. Well, today I will share with you all of the cards that I completed in the month of May. I was not able to get very many videos out this month because of some really good things. We got to watch my son graduate. I got to spend Mother's Day with family and friends. Plus, I had tons of family members come to visit, so May was packed full. With June right around the corner, I'll go back to my normal taping schedule, which is about three to four videos each month. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much for understanding and for sticking with me. Now, let's take a look. First, let's take a look at our sheet load of cards. As you can see, I've done a blast from the past here and went back to the January sheet load of cards and made another masculine card for my nephew for his birthday. Changed it up a little bit, but it turned out awesome, I think. Next, I went to the April sheet load of cards and I grabbed that Hello Darling kit paper and finished it up for a July 4th card. Lastly, I did get a May example in for you. Don't have a video for it, but here is a copy of a beautiful card that came out of that Hello Darling kit. Just love that paper. Next, I have quite a few cards that I made for family members for upcoming birthdays. I think the butterfly card, I gave you a little sneak peek in my last video. This is an embossing folder along with stencils and I think it turned out so good. I used some oxide inks and really just made it very plain, but I think, again, it turned out cute. A couple other cards. One is a boy's birthday. I brought back the old truck, knowing he would love that idea. And some other cards that my sister and I came up with while she was here in town. Also, I wanted to show you something new. When you're short on time, there are options for you. I grabbed a Simple Stories card kit. Let me know if you'd like me to show you a little bit more about that in an upcoming video. They're not very expensive, but these kits have some really pretty cards. You are limited because they are specific, but you can grab one of these kits, make it your own, and quickly put together cards. For my beginners, that's a great idea when you are trying to learn different techniques and different things to do for cards. Take a look and tell me what you think. Next, in my 15 cards that I'm working on, I've finished card number one and card number two. Here's a look at card number three. I don't believe you'll believe it, but it truly is pieces of paper from the same paper, front side and back side. And then I just added some Hello Darling stickers to it. And turned out to be a really pretty happy birthday card and I'm loving it well that's what I have for you today more videos coming out soon I hope you liked today's video and thank you again for joining me and your continued support I really do appreciate it as always please feel free to subscribe like and comment on the video if you have any ideas or suggestions you'd like to see or share, please feel free to reach out to me. Until next time, have a great day.